Before I finish my login form, let me move these two buttons to the right side because it seems a little crowded over here. So we're going to go back to our file and we're going to introduce yet another bootstrap class. And this one's really good for uh, moving elements around on your page. We're going to give it a class of pull right. And then we're going to close the div just outside our a tag. Oh, not dive, div. And let me do this really quick. All right, I'm going to save it. Go back to the browser, refresh, and there we go. So by adding the pull right class, uh, what it basically does is it floats any element to the right. And you can also use pull left. And of course, it'll float any element to the left. So just another quick tip. Um, OK, so we have our login form. Let's go ahead and do our register form. And I want to set this up as a modal window, because I think it's a pretty good way to introduce uh, another jQuery plugin that Bootstrap offers. So let's get started. We're going to scroll down to the bottom of our page, and we need to be outside of our container class. So I'm going to comment and put a line that says end of container. And I'm going to open up a div. And we're going to give that div an ID. And this is important. We're going to call it register. We're going to give it a class of modal and a class of hide because we don't want it to show up on the page until we click that button. And a class of fade because that's how we want it to come in and off the screen. Also, we have to use another attribute A R I A. I guess it sounds like area. And labeled by, I gotta put equal to modal label. And this will all make sense in a minute. So let me get it out of the way and type it out. Hit in equals true. Now your modal window has conveniently uh, a few classes to help you style it out and format it nicely. We're going to need one class called modal header. And we're going to need another class, let me scroll down a bit, called modal body. And we'll create a few spaces there. And finally we'll need Another one called modal footer. And there we go. Now, to call on this modal window, we're going to have to scroll back up to our register button. And we're going to have to add a little bit of code to it. We need to add an H reference to make this anchor tag uh, associate with our register div. And we're going to give it a role of button. And we've seen this before, it's the data toggle. And it's going to call on the jQuery plugin for modal. So that's done. And if we save it, and we switch to our browser and hit refresh, and click on register, you see you should see this little window pop up. If you recall, we added a modal header, which added a slightly gray background to the top, a modal body, and a modal footer. Now, right now, if we click on it, nothing happens, and the only way to close it is to click off of it. But of course, Bootstrap offers a much nicer way of doing this, and we'll go ahead and put that on right now. We're going to scroll back down to the bottom of our uh, document and we're going to add a button and we're going to give it a type of button. It's 
It's going to have a class of close. And we're going to use the data dismiss. And we'll put modal because that's what we want to close. I'm going to put this area hidden to true. And for our first close button, we're going to use an icon. Bootstrap offers a, a ton of icons that we can use. And we're going to use first the icon remove. And we'll close that out. Oh, forgot to close this one. There we go. And in our header, we might as well go ahead and add the heading. Um, we'll put an H3. And we'll give it an ID of modal label. And we did this for a reason. If you remember, the very first line uh, that we wrote when we actually created the div to hold everything, we have this attribute here that says area labeled by and modal label. So as you can see, it matches down here. And this register is going to be what the label of our uh, modal window is. Inside of our footer, we're going to put another button to close it. It's going to be a button class. Class equal to BTN. Now, I said I would explain what BTN primary was before, but I forgot. And I'll do it for this one. We'll put danger. And that's going to give us a red button. And if you haven't figured it out, if I put data danger, it'll give me a red. Or if I put primary, it'll give me that light blue. Or info, and it'll give me that lighter blue. But uh, I, th I think you get the picture. So, add a data dismiss attribute of model. Because that's what we want to close. Another area hidden. Equal to true. And... You don't want to register, you'll decide to cancel. So that's what we'll put for this one. And I'm going to copy this. But I will remove this code. And I'll change this danger to success. Because it's always successful when someone registers for your site. And I'll put register. And I'll save it. And let me check and make sure everything's good. Type model. Oh, I forgot to close this button tag. Close it like that. Now I'll save it. Go back to my browser and hit refresh. And now when we click register, our model window comes down and it's got a nice label to it. It's got an X up here in the right hand corner. We click on that, it'll close. And if you remember, we added that also, that attribute also to the cancel button. So when we click on that one, it'll close. Now in our next video, we'll actually put a form on here and we'll use as many of the bootstrap form features as we can. Um, that's going to be it for now. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.